Welcome students, hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to dive into some, some of the questions from the reading comprehension and the verbal ability. So you could find out, uh, here is a, <clears throat> one of the passages given and the direction for question is what? Answer the following questions based on the information given below. Now, Let's see that the text, I expect that you must have gone through the text. So what this text is all about, this text states indicating about uh, the transformative impact of artificial intelligence. So what I believe that you must have gone through this text and understood it, uh, although I would like to give some more ideas put into it. So. Uh, it is indicating about the transformative impact of artifi uh, artificial intelligence on what? On business, on business and the challenge challenges companies face when implementing AI initiatives. It also highlights what? Uh, you could say that it highlights the discrepancy between the promises of AI and uh, the often disappointing outcomes experienced by the companies. Isn't it? So even you would also find out that uh, despite the significant investment in AI, many implementations, uh, you could say, fail to, fail to deliver substantial results. So the passage uh, emphasizes nothing but what? Uh, the passage emphasizes the need for a deeper understanding of how ordinary forms uh, implement AI and the concrete challenges they encounter. It calls for research to explore specific challenges and solutions associated with uh, AI, right? So an implementation to provide actionable knowledge uh, for managers, isn't it? So uh, that is what you would find out uh, in this whole text. And if you talk about the main idea of the text, so what do we find out? The main idea of the text is, uh, AI transforms how companies compete, interact, and create value. That's what you would find out. Uh, and the second is called as how many uh, AI initiatives fail to meet expectation, even among renowned technology firms. Understanding implementation challenges is crucial for realizing the potential of AI. Third, uh, the characteristic of AI. If you talk about that, the characteristics uh, of AI technology is different from traditional IT system, require a different approach of implementation. So there is a lack of literature on AI impl implementation, um, highlighting the need for further research. So that's what is the main idea of this particular text. Now, if I talk about the means uh, style of the text. So the style of the text is uh, indicating an informative, informative, and uh, you could say that analytical style, right? Informative and analytical style, presenting facts, uh, statistics, and you could say that uh, um, um, uh, insights about AI implementations in business. Um, so that's what you would find out. It employs nothing but a formal tone, right? Addressing the challenges and opportunities. Challenges and opportunities, okay? So associated with AI in a professional man manner, the language is very clear and concise, making complex concept accessible to the reader, right? So if I talk about the tone of the text, uh, so what is the tone? The tone is, you could say, objective one, objective and you could say that uh, pragmatic, right, pragmatic. So uh, focusing on the practical implications of uh, AI implementation rather than you could say speculative uh, or theoretical discussions while uh, accepting, you, know, you could say the potential benefits of uh, AI. Uh, it also highlights the realities of implementation challenges and the need for empirical research to address them. Overall, the tone uh, conveys a sense of what? A sense of urgency and importance regarding the 
uh, understanding and successful implementation of AI in business. Okay, so that's what you could find out in this uh, whole text. So the tone, style, and the main ideas. So all such kind of a things. Now let's move to the question. What does the question point out? The author criticizes AI initiatives who are not stable and well integrated software products for all the following reasons, except, right, except. So the author criticizes what? AI initiatives who are not stable and well integrated software products for all the following reasons, except. Now let's see that. Mm, the question is asking what? The question is asking uh, that why? Why the author, uh, you could say that, uh, doesn't criticize AI initiatives for a specific region? So what we need to find out, we need to find out the region mentioned in the passage, isn't it? That is not a basis for criticism by the author. So because that's what is except, now, if you look into the options, the first option say lack of understanding about the promises of AI. So this is, uh, you could say that, uh, lack of understanding about the promises of AI. Now, if you look into that, this is not mentioned as a reason for the author's criticism in the passage. Instead, the focus is on the challenges and implementation issues of AI technology. Now, uh, so this could go well. Now look into the option two, volatility and in incomplete functioning of AI technologies. So volatility and incomplete functioning of AI technology, this reflects the, you could say, uh, criticisms mentioned in the passage as the author discusses the dynamic and incomplete nature of uh, AI algorithm algorithms. So if I talk about option three, Option three stated frequent release schedules of established information technology. So uh, this is not mentioned as a region for criticism in the passage. Mm, uh, or you can say that uh, uh, the comparison between AI technology and established IT systems focus on their differences in functionality and release schedules. Now, if I talk about four, Challenges and risk associated with AI implementation. Uh, yes, this also reflects the criticism, right? Um, as the author emphasizes the challenges and risks faced by companies when implementing AI initiatives. So we could find out option two, three, and four could be called as the uh, criticism that the author does. Uh, author does. So whereas option one. Uh, is the correct option as it doesn't align with the regions for criticism presented in the passes. So hence we could consider option one would be the correct answer. Hope you understood this. That's all. Thank you.